Hello viewers, I welcome you again to the learning of the Excel functions and in this video I am going to explain you how XLOOKUP can be nested with the basic Excel formula functions like SUM, AVERAGE, MAX and MINIMUM. Well, let's get on to the topic and here for the demo I have, been consider I have considered the database here of certain staff count of certain company in various zones and then the revenue in million currency they have earned zone wise and then the sale percentage what they have achieved of the total percentage of sale. So with this database now let's get on to the demonstration. On the right side you see that the zone and the revenue in million have been mentioned or rather arrived or derived from the usage of XLOOKUP nested with the various functions and if you see here the zone has been defined as north to west so from north up to the west so for these four zones together what has been the revenue in million the sum of these four zones that is very much seen here to be 93 million and there in our answer also or in the output cell also we see 93 as the outcome well this outcome has been achieved by using the xlookup function nested with the sum function the same way over here the average function has been used with the xlookup and subsequently here the max and here the min function has been used. So let's get on to the demonstration. I'll demo you how it can be used. And for example, now let us see the staff count. So let us go over here and find out the staff count. And now what we need to do is or what we need to find out is the sum of the staff count. So for that purpose, now what I'll do, I'll just hide this column for the time being since not required at the moment and to make a little bit more space. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate you the usage of the sum function nested with xlookup. So let's begin. The sum is over here. The next thing what I'm going to take up is the xlookup function. In the X, xlookup function, if you have watched my earlier video regarding the xlookup usage, it will be very easy for you to understand this video and this explanation. Never mind, if you have not seen it, you can subsequently see it but in the meantime, you can have a lookup over here. So in this xlookup function, the first thing what is required is the lookup value. And now here I have put in the lookup value as north to west. So how do I do that? Well, I'll go over here and I'll look up the value from north to the west. Well, with this lookup value, what next? I'm going to find out the lookup array. So the lookup array over here is the region in which we have to search for these lookup values and this is the lookup array. So from B4 to B12. What next? So let me lock this lookup value with function F4. And the next thing what I need to key in is the return array. Or rather the return array will be from where we require the output to come up. So here we require from the staff count. So I'm going to choose this return array function f4 to lock it and once done what next is required is if not found match mode and search mode well these are optional and as i explained you in the earlier video where and how those can be used you can subsequently explore it so i won't be using it over here i don't need right now the next thing what i need to do over here is i have to go back over here and what i have done here is i have chosen b4 to b7 well this is not the correct method I have purposely demonstrated this to you so that you will remember this forever. So what we did do, do, need to do is we have to choose the first lookup value cell and that's why instead of B4 to B7, I will be only choosing B4. I am going to remove this B4, B7 value over here. Once done, now what next? In this fu function bar, now you can see it very well. The first thing what I used is sum. The next thing I have nested it with the xlookup. With xlookup, I have chosen the lookup value from the cell B4 since I need to find out the values from north to west zone that is from cell B4 to B7 I have begun with the lookup value as B4 then I have chosen the lookup range the lookup range here has been chosen from B4 to B12 the next thing what has been chosen as argument or the requirement is the return value array so the return value array is the staff count that is what we require so the return value array here has been chosen as a4 to a12 now what next now friends pay attention i'm going to choose the colon here 
and the colon is generally or rather always used in Excel to define a range. Now what next? I'm going to use the XLOOKUP once again. So there it is. I have chosen the XLOOKUP. What next I have to choose is again the lookup value and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the lookup value as B7. Well, now it must be much clear to you why I had chosen B4 to B7 as a range in the earlier part of this video and explain you how it is wrong. Now, mind well, I have chosen B7 as the last cell or the last lookup value. So now what I'm going to do indirectly is I'm going to look up for the values from B4 to B7 by using the array, by using the colon. Well, with B7 chosen as a lookup value, I'm going to choose the lookup array as B4 to B12. I'm going to lock it. Next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the range for the return array. So now the return array will be certainly the staff count. Again, I'm choosing the cells from A4 to A12. Lock those cells, close the parentheses. And this parenthesis has been closed for the second X lookup. And now I need to close the parenthesis again for the sum function. Well, or the sum formula. Well, I hope this syntax and this arguments what I have chosen are very clear to you. In case, if you require to add or if you wish or if you need to add the remaining three values which are optional in the X lookup, but they do matter, you can choose them subsequently. For example, if you want to look up from bottom to top or if you want to check for the exact value and the next smallest value, you can do it by using the optional arguments in XLOOKUP. Well, I leave it to you to explore and I'll go ahead with this function explanation or this nesting explanation. So I'm going to enter and as soon as I enter, I see the staff count sum here is seen as 975. Let us give a cross check over here. So what I had chosen here was the zone from north to west. So for these four zones, that is from row four to row seven in this Excel file, I had to, I required this as an output, the staff count sum or summation. So 200 plus 250 plus 225 plus 300, it's quite oral. I can make it easily. The summation or the sum of these four values is 975. If you wish to see that over here, you can very well see it. So the sum 975 is correct. The staff count is very correct. Now let us go to the average function or the average formula and let's nest it up with XLOOKUP. How to do that? Let's get on to that. So I'm going to say average and with average, now we know the context and the syntax, how we are using it. So the XLOOKUP, now what I need to choose here. Now, for example, let's give a little different choice here. So now let's go from the range uh, or let's select the zone from south to southeast. So that is cell B5 up to cell B10. So let's say B5. So I'm going to choose B5 over here. Next thing, what I'm going to choose is the lookup array. The lookup array remains the same. So I'm going to choose this lookup array and lock it with function F4. The next thing is the range or the return array. So I require the staff count. So I'm going to choose this array from A4 to A12. I'm going to lock it with F4. And once done, I'm going to close the parenthesis, give, same, give the colon to define the range. Now what I need, the next thing is again XLOOKUP. I'm going to use the XLOOKUP over here. And in this XLOOKUP, what shall be my next lookup value? I want to choose up to southeast. So I'm going to choose cell B10 as the lookup value. The next thing is the range. Again, the lookup range remains the same. So I'm going to choose this lookup range. The next thing is the return array. The return array again remains the same. The staff count is what I require. So I'm going to choose it. Close the parenthesis twice and I am ready with the nesting of X lookup with average. So friends, basically what I'm doing is I'm choosing the first lookup value and then the next lookup value, giving it as a range using the colon and then I am nesting the whole thing x, x lookup for the ranges or the range, not the ranges, for the range to be averaged out. And now I am going to use a enter, I am going to enter it and there it is. So now I need to make a correction here. So here the zone or the 
zones which I have selected are south to southeast. There it is. So from south to southeast, what has been chosen as an input for the lookup value gives me this as an average. So let us go over here and give a cross check to that. So from south to southeast, these are the six cells. Those are the out our output and the average of those six cells is very much seen over here at this portion of the Excel worksheet. So the average here is 419.166 and that is what we have got as an output or written value over here. So friends, I hope this has been very much clarified or very much clear to you. Now let us go to the next function or the formula that is max. Max returns the maximum value from a given lookup or a given range or a given array or a given database. Well, now let us go back and say we need to find out the max from say north to west. Let's go again to those cells and now it's quite simple. Probably you may even prompting me while I'm talking or narrating you in this video. You may be prompting me somewhere on back of your mind. It's not very difficult. Let me give you a look demo of this. So I'm going to use the X lookup here. The X lookup will now choose for the lookup value or I'm going to choose this as a lookup value B4. The lookup range from B4 to B12. There's nothing new that I'm telling you. I already told you this thing in an earlier part of this video. Then the staff count that is the return array. I have chosen the return array also from A4 to A12. I'm going to close the parenthesis, give colon, again use X lookup and then now the lookup value I'm going to choose as west that is B7 as a lookup value. The lookup array is going to remain the same. The return array is going to remain the same. Once chosen, now I'm going to again close the two parentheses or two brackets and say enter. And the maximum value here of the staff count in the range from north to west, that is zone north to zone west is 300. So friends, it's quite easy. Let us see over here and we can easily visualize that 300 is the maximum staff count. The same way we can find out, find out the minimum. Let's do it a little fast now that we are very much conversant with the X lookup and the application of XLOOKUP. So let us do it. And probably you can practice this once or twice on your own so that you get into the theory of this quite easily. Well, so now B7 is the lookup cell. The lookup range is from B4 to B12. There we are. The return range is from A4 to A12. There we are. Again, I'm going to close the two parentheses and say enter. And the minimum value for the staff count here turns out to be 200. Quite obvious. It is very easy for us. You can visually make out from these four cells. The minimum value of the staff count is 200 for the zone north amongst the zones north to the west. Friends, I hope this has made very clear how we have applied or how we have nested these values or these functions or the formula with the function xlookup and derived values. As I already gave you two demos here. First, I had readily made available the revenue in million for these zones, what we considered. Well, this was for some other zone. Well, and then we found out for the staff count for the respective zones. Well, it is quite easy when you are seeing it on the screen. I request you to practice it on your own and make the applications in your respective fields and restrict requirements. I hope this video was very new or very nice for you to understand and easy to grasp. If you like the video, please do express your thumbs up, express your positive comments. If you are in requirement of any other functions, those which I can create videos for, please do let me know. Well, Keep on watching the videos. The further videos will be certainly as interesting as much as the previous videos were. Keep well, keep safe and keep in touch. I'll be back soon with my next video. Till then, goodbye. Have a nice time.